Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan Hartney with Smooth Mono Real Estate. Today we're going to go over a quick uh, little cash flow calculator for rental properties. You know, this is really designed for just a, a simple duplex or maybe a triplex or even a single family home or, or something like that. Uh, simple, stupid, but effective. Uh, so we're going to start with the purchase price, 200000 uh, bucks. We're going to assume a rehab of 50000 bucks for a total investment of $250,000. I'm happy to share this spreadsheet. Uh, just uh, you know, inbox me, or I'll, I'll include a link in the comments. But uh, anyway, so total investment of 250 grand, uh, and we're going to pull debt on this, and we're going to run it a couple ways just to show the ROI difference based on a you know just a cash down payment and uh, just buying the property outright in cash. So we're going to start out with uh, you know 250 thousand dollar total investment with the rehab, uh, principal balance of 200 grand, 30 year debt. Uh, 360 months at a 5.25% interest rate. And we can play with these numbers to, to figure out how we can get our best return. Um, it's important to figure out how to set up an amortization table in your system. Um, but we'll start with uh, the payment. So you don't want to use the payment function, which you can just you just basically type what I've got typed here. Uh, just equal PMT. Uh, C15 is going to be your interest rate per month. So you're going to take your total interest rate, if you see my math here, it's just uh, the 5.25% divided by the 12 months. So you're going to take your interest rate per month, uh, comma C13, which is the amount of months, 360, comma C17, which is the total loan amount. Uh, the function within Excel will, will calculate then your payment per month, uh, not including taxes and insurance, uh, just PMI for each monthly period. Uh, we can also calculate our total loan amount. So total loan amount is simply going to be our payment, monthly payment, times our months, which is 360. So that's going to be the total amount paid after 360 payments. Um, from there, we can easily figure out what our interest paid is by simply taking uh, C19, which is now our total amount of the loan, less our original loan amount of 200. So uh, 397 grand in change minus 200 gets us to 197 grand in change is the interest we'll pay over that 360 month period to carry that loan. Uh, you're gonna to wanna to figure out how to set up the AM table. It's, it's, it's a, good, uh, a good tool to use because you can see what your, what your out is if you decide to sell maybe in 10 years. So you're gonna to wanna to start with your principal balance. Um, your monthly payment, again, you're just basically gonna to wanna to equal this sell and you're going to want to lock that cell too. Uh, you just basically type in the dollar sign C, dollar sign 18 in between the numbers, and that locks that cell so we can autofill it here in a minute all the way down, uh, all the, way down the sheet. Uh, your monthly interest is basically going to be C15, um, which is your monthly interest rate, divide, or times D34, which ends up being your, uh, your principal balance for that. Uh, months. So your balance is going to decrease over time, therefore your monthly interest is going to decrease over time, if that makes sense. Um, principal amount is E34 plus F34, so that's basically the difference between your monthly payment and the interest. So that's how much you're reducing your principal balance by every month. Uh, from there, we're basically going to, to basically deduct this principal amount from the beginning balance and then transfer it down here. And then we're gonna keep doing it again and again because it's so much fun. All right, so we're gonna copy this down. These cells are locked, so it should come right back down. So we're reducing our, uh, our interest payment by basically a dollar the first month. Uh, principal amount, again, just drag it down. You should be able to drag this down. Now that we've got this set up, uh, we should be able to drag these all the way down, all the way to 360. And what do you know? We've got zero paid, zero due after 360 months, if all our math shows up. So a cool thing about this chart is, you know, you can kind of say, hey, I'm on a, let's say a 10-year plan. You know, I'm buying this property, putting 250 grand into it. You know, I want to sell it after 10 years. You know, just 10 by times 12 is 120. And 